with our second um, episode of our Bunny Puff series. We are working from the Bunny Puff Supply Pack, which you can get at SarafinaFiberArt.com. This is a great beginner project, um, but I do recommend that you watch sort of the first, I think it's one through seven episodes. Um, if you go to SarafinaFiberArt.com and go to the video page, you'll see them on the left, um, all in order, and it's just easier to navigate than YouTube. So you can check them out there, learn some techniques, and then you'll be ready to jump in to this, this project. Um, so last time we made the body and head and legs, and today we're going to see if we can't do the face in one episode. Yeah? Yes. What, what's that behind you? Uh, <laughs> almost. Oh, man. He ran away. Oh, man. <laughs> he just missed him. I tried. <laughs> All right, so um, we will zoom in and get to it. So we need to make some basic shapes to create the face. Um, we're going to do a little sort of buns or biscuits to make the cheeks, which I have a sample of here. And then um, we make a rectangle piece that goes on the nose. We make a ghost shape to make the chin. And then the ears are actually made um, really similar to the way we laid out the legs, except instead of a log, we make sort of an, a long ear almond shape. Um, and that goes there. So it's not, not too much. Not too much. Um, I like to make their little chins white. This guy has a little, little white chin. I just think it's cute. If you want it to be gray, um, just use your core wool and you can layer a little of the detail colors on there if you want. Um, to make the chin, you take a small amount, about a, a square inch. Make sure it's nice and consistent. Nice, you know, consistent piece of wool. You don't want it thin in a spot. And I always try to keep um, my fibers aligned. So I'm just thickening that up just a little bit. It's a little, a little wimpy. Um, and I have my fibers going horizontally, and I'm going to needle felt a vertical line up and down the center. I'm going to fold the top back like we did on the feet. I want that nice rounded edge, thick edge and then roll these sides in. We're going for kind of like a ghost or bullet shape. And let the fringe, oh, stuck. Let the fringe just stay. Don't needle felt this end. You're only needle felting the front end round. It's gotta be pretty narrow, like less than a quarter of an inch or about a quarter of an inch. If it's too big, if you just got way too much wool, you realize, just go ahead and do it again. Just pull another little amount of white, less, and do it again. So once I have that, I'm going to put it under his chin. I like to give him a little bit. He's going to get another nose piece, so I've got it sort of in line with the tip of his nose so that when I put that nose piece on, he gets a little bit of an overbite. Not Which like Milo, cute. I love them. Who has an underbite? <laughs> you have an underbite, Milo. Oh. <laughs> and you just have a wicked bite too. Well, <laughs> sometimes people push me, you know. I know. They don't. It's actually not them. It's it's me. Okay. The, now that we've got the chin on, we need to make the cheeks, and the cheeks are about a square inch and a half of core wool and you want to create a little biscuit. Seriously? <laughs> um, like a hamburger bun type shape. So to do that, take, take your square piece of core wool, grab each end and pull it apart, and then when you restack re it, make an X. So you've got fibers going four corners. Needle felt a little circle, just a little smaller than a dime, about a dime size, I guess, in the center, and pull the, the X fibers, the, the fringy fibers, around into that same circle. Don't 
over felt. You need a shape that's going to have some malleability so that when you go to put it on, you can continue to shape it. If you felt the life out of this, it's going to be too firm to felt onto your project. So I'm going to put it on the sides. Um, I'm going to put them on and then show you where they go. It's a little hard to describe. It is overlapping some of that white chin fur under there. Let me get this one on. It kind of looks like a Princess Leia with buns on the side. So there's still a strip down the center. They don't meet at the top and they don't really meet at the bottom either. Um, what's going to happen is the eye is going to go at the top of the cheek and then we're going to make another piece. This is an ear, but it kind of looks like this that goes from the tip of the nose back and creates a forehead and brow. So that is the bunny's cheeks. Next we need to make this piece. It's a rectangle. It's darker in the center. It's going to be the muzzle and it gets needle felted on and pinched in the sides to create the bunny's little little nose or muzzle area. He's actually still going to get a piece, like I said, on the top that's the tip of the nose. So to make this rectangle, take a piece of your core wool, same size as the cheeks were, nice and consistent and square. And then layer some of your detail colors going light, just a thin amount, don't go crazy thick here, real thin pieces, to darker towards the center. I should have one more darker color. Here it is. Getting the darkest bit towards the center. Flip it over. So I still have it horizontally. And then I'm going to needle felt a vertical line in the center third, actually. So about the size of my finger. And then fold the outer two thirds into that center third. Like you're folding a piece of paper, a business sized piece of paper, to put into an envelope. Should be a, about a half of an inch thick, half of an inch wide rectangle. And then you can actually pull some of the, if it got a little long, pull the ends off. So to put this on, I like to use a strong needle and center it on his nose and really stab that center line. Hee <laughs> hee, he's got a mustache. I like it. <laughs> um, like that. And then you take this piece on each side and pinch it a little to give it a little bit of a forward poof. And then the fringy part is going to blend back onto the cheeks. Oh, I forgot to say, when you make your rectangle, don't needle felt by folding these ends over. Leave them fringy because that's how we blend and attach things is having that, that fringe. So this shape might look a little funny until you spend some time sculpting it. But for now, we're going to leave it like this and move on to the next piece of the puzzle, which is the eyes and the forehead. For the eyes, I take some black, a small amount, a really small amount. Oh my gosh. They'll, you're going to end up with probably eyes that are too big. Just pull it and do it again. And I break it in half to keep it even. This is, you know, like just a little tuft each. And then I, you can either dampen your hands or um, put some U Smooth in your palms. U Smooth is a wax and um, like shea and cocoa butter blend that helps give your hands some grip and shape the wool. And then, oops, one at a time here. Roll it in your palms like a, you're rolling a piece of Play-Doh. Firmly, you really have to press. And you'll, and then roll back and forth. 
and it makes a little seed. And you will use this, you'll find a lot of ways to use this little seed shape. I use it to create a lot of details. You alright there? Well, it's hard to do, I'm trying to roll. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were scratching. I'm trying to pet the bunny. You want me to bring him a little closer? Well, that, that would be helpful. There you go. Okay. Little bunny, soft and funny. <laughs> funny, funny. So soft. I'm not saying anything because I want to hear you keep saying. <laughs> so the eye goes right at the top of that where we put that cheek. You sort of just set it into that seam, this little seed shape. When I put these on, I come in at the edges. I don't I don't felt just in the center because you'll sort of flatten it out. But if you come in at the edges, um, you can kind of keep it round. So to make the forehead piece, which is going to go like this, um, you're going to lay it out just like you did the legs. You're going to take some core wool, kind of same amount that we've been doing, just a nice square, and then put a little bit of your light gray, a little bit of the dark gray at the tip, and then a little bit of medium to blend them together. And then I'm just felting a little bit to get it to stay when I flip it over. Now this shape we want to be like a Pope's hat. We want it rather pointy at the end, which we do by folding in like a paper airplane. And then we follow that angle out. And then we fold the sides in to create nice straight sides. Oh my gosh, my nose. You're not going to put a hat like that on me, are you? Let's see. <laughs> it looks like a horn. So it's, um, it has, it looks like a house. It's like angled roof and then the walls. And this size you want it to be is about the width of your bunny's forehead or a little wider because it's going to go like this. And you're going to put the point right at the tip of the nose and then you're going to let this become a brow for the bunny. Let me put it on and then you will see where you're headed. It would be really smart. Now I wouldn't do this because I'm impatient and not really smart. To watch this whole video series and then start needle felting. <laughs> but I'm the kind of person who jumps in, so. That's okay, you make great stuff. So I'm letting those round edges of the sides of the Pope hat kind of become the bunny's um, brow over his eye, basically. All right, let's take a break. We'll see where we are and what I, we're going to do next. I have a joke first. All right. What do you call a group of rabbits hopping backwards? I have no idea. A receding hairline. <laughs> I thought it fit with that piece. That's good. That's great. Okay, so I'm doing a little sculpting with my needles to bring all these shapes together. Um, this eye looks good. This eye, I feel like, is getting a little sunk in, too far in. So to fix that, I'm just going to take another little piece of black and make another one, basically, and just stick it on top so that it's not so far sunk. If, you're, if something you're doing isn't working, um, you can always add more wool. So there's, it's very forgiving, and I'm sure, usually, that there's a way to fix it. And then we're going to make the ears, but um, once we get the ears on, We'll take our detail colors and really just blend all these, all these seams together, and he will end up like this. So to make the ear, it's um, it's laid out 
the same way we've done the feet and the forehead nose piece same amount kind of like the amount of the back hind feet maybe so I flip it over so that my nice colors are on the back and then I felt a vertical line I just roll I always just roll the tip back just to give it a little bit of thickness there and then I'm gonna felt the shape of the ear basically it's just an elongated diamond and then roll the wool into the center and let this extra wool come into the center don't don't like roll it in a little wad on the sides you need it in the middle to help the thickness and and um, kind of consistency of the ear so this is a working on the ears is a great time to use the punch tool it really felts it well flattens it out in your kit you have some pink and you want to take a little bit of it's not really pink pink it's like a salmony color just put a little bit in the center And then before you put the ear on the bunny, we're going to take it, we're going to fold it in half at the base, like a taco. And just at the base, needle felt that a little bit. Just gives a nice, deeper shape to the ear. Milo, I miss you. What are you doing? It's weird being here all by myself. I'm trying to take a nap. <laughs> okay, so that's our ear, and it goes kind of in line out from the nose through the eye. That's where you want your ear to be. And I tip them not completely forward, a little bit to the side, using the fringe at the bottom of the ear to attach it to the head. Let me get this other one. Okay, I've got his ears on, and just to finish the head, using your needles, just continue sculpting. Um, you need to lay a little bit of fiber right here to, I'll show you, kind of blend. I'm using the lightest gray, just blend that seam where the ear attaches and give him a little bit of space between his eye and his ear. You don't want his ear right up against his eye. And then same thing right here, I'm going to take a little bit of gray and just lay it and felt it to blend this nose seam area. See how this side of his face is beginning to look a little more coherent than this side of his face. I'm going to do this side. And then I think we're going to quit there. This time we have just a couple little more details to do. But basically, we are about ready to put on Angora. Which you will either find really fun or really annoying. But either way, you are going to be rewarded with really cool results. Okay, so we, hey, we made a relatively cute little rabbit. He, he looks good to me. <laughs> so all we have left is we're going to put a little pink on the nose, little, um, my friend Lee calls it life sparkle, white dots in the eyes that really makes them come to life, and then we will um, start putting on the Angora. Okay? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Give me five. <laughs> that was a swing and a miss! <laughs> Alright. Okay. Bye! Goodbye. Bye.